Now the top of the rifle looking down. And this is also for um, recreation. Some of these kids make paper car 98s. If you need some exact measurements of the bolt, say like the bolt right here, which is here to here, and to get it out you have to pull this out, the spring out, and then pull on the bolt very lightly. You can listen to a click. Okay. Well, anyway, I've, I've, um, I'm gonna have to with, with two hands. But this is what the inside of it looks like, right there. And I have not been able to take that bottom plate off. I don't, I don't want that to fall over. The numbers on the top here are, I believe it's 377. You can see on the knurling, okay, it was just never used. The bluing has come off in a few places, but it was just never used. And we can, we can look, let's look down the side of the rifle. Now, this is with the sunlight on it. This was done at the factory, just like this. Just like this. Why, I don't know, but it was. And this is um, just a piece of history. My uncle brought it back from Germany when he invaded. I think he was 20 years old. And he also brought back the bayonet that came with it, the bayonet. And this is down, looking down the other side here. You can see the sheen. Now I haven't put anything on here. I haven't put anything, any kind of uh, polish or anything on it. But that stock right there, if you think for one second that it was polished, I don't know about gun stock, okay, I don't, but I'll tell you what, um, I do know that, I know the history of this rifle from when it was taken in Germany to when it was brought back in 1945 Look at that. there's a number right there and I can tell you what not one piece of sandpaper has been put on this look at this there is no sanding marks nothing if this stock is from 1944 or 45 then it would have to be 66 years old and here's the regular cowhide that's how they used to do things what they might have done is used a 1937 S42 gun um, rifle parts because they were probably well made in 37 compared to the later ones that were put together probably faster because they were in the middle of a war in the middle of a, an American invasion on from the West and that's, that's it. it's a 70 right there or something right. I don't know what that is I'm look down here and the Russians from the East This gun is, um, rifle's never seen combat. Back in the day, these soldiers could bring home war trophies. And they brought home all kinds of shit. I mean, they brought Japanese bayonets. They don't let them do it anymore on, in wars, but they'd take rifles and things like that and bring it back. And this bayonet was also brought back here. And from what I can tell, I think it says 39. Let's see if I can get anything on that damage. There we go. I think. It says 39 on the top here. I believe this was made in 1939. 
It was made by a gentleman called Carl Eichhorn, and I think that he was a premier bladesmith and much sought after. I think, but I'm not sure. There are Bakelite handles right here. The spring, everything else works perfect. It has a little German mark right here. A little. I'm seeing how well this HD camera is going to work. And of course the blade right here, since this was taken from an armory, the blade is really well balanced too. I, let's see if I can get it in the light here. The blade's never been sharpened either. But I'm, I'm just making this for the history of what it was, you know, back in the day, and there's not many of them. I can't get a good, I can't get a good angle on the, on the blade here, unfortunately. And then the bayonet cover says, 531, 5317A, and the other side is a mystery. It says copper, C-O-P-P-E, something, M-O-H, 1940. Now, of course, the numbers don't match, but that doesn't matter because Show me one that did match. The Germans didn't give a shit about matching numbers. They cared about uh, trying to win the war. And with the servicemen, what they would do is go and pick the finest examples of whatever souvenir they wanted to bring back, and they would bring it back. They didn't care about numbers. They know they were 19, 20-year-olds who could have been killed the next day or wounded. So... They brought back the best of the best. So if you don't like the, the rifle, just keep your comments to yourself because I've never seen a better one. In better condition, anyway. You see this? Listen to the clicking. And you see the wood underneath? This says 214, 2141 underneath. It's all beautiful shape. Accurate up to a mile. Okay, I want to post these.